Hello and thank you for clicking on this video and showing your interest in the project Save Muyo Hrnca. So what is the project about? The project is a uh, big statue made by a Bosnian artist who has dedicated his life to this sculpture and it is decaying in a storage. As you might have known, after the war in Bosnia, a lot of things got destroyed and there is not a lot of money. The project was planned to be finished before the war, but of course no one knew that there was going to be a war and the project uh, never got finished. Now there is this huge statue, a Bosnian artist who dedicated his life to the statue and it is decaying. Why am I trying to save this project? Maybe it's good to know the whole backstory. So my name is Dino Karajc, I'm originally from Bosnia and I come from the town of Velika Kladusha, which is located in the western part of Bosnia. I currently live and study in the Netherlands. I'm a computer science student at the University of Applied Sciences in Amsterdam. I have very strong connections with my home country and I visit Bosnia often. So about 10 years ago I went to this storage that was in the middle of nowhere with my dad and his friend. A friend of my dad showed us the statue. I was so impressed by it. It was the biggest and most beautiful statue I've ever seen in my life. Since then, I was always wondering how it would look like when it got finished. I didn't have any connections to either the, the artist. I just really, really liked the artwork that he made. So now I'm 21, 10 years later, and the statue still hasn't been finished. I found out who the artist was and contacted him. And he was glad, glad to show me around again. He told me the story about that his statue is decaying and there is nothing he can do about it because he doesn't have the money to um, finish his project and no one wants to help him out. Because the federal government doesn't have the money or doesn't want to spend the money on the statue. The local parties have promised him a lot of things on camera even for multiple times in the last couple of years, but nothing happened. Now I know that people in Bosnia don't have enough money for, to finish this project, but I know that there's a lot of Bosnians and people who act, artists and people who respect art worldwide. It doesn't matter who made it and where the art is, but respect the piece of art that someone created and the message behind it. That's why I took it into my own hands and created this crowdfund page, because I want to save that project and I know there's a lot of people who would love to see this statue in real life when it's finished. So the project consists of three stages. The first stage is actually just to um, restore the broken parts and the decayed parts and also um, put it in a coating, in a sort of coating that the material that it has been made of cannot decay anymore, so it gets preserved. So the first stage is preserving the statue so it cannot decay any further and cannot decay at all um, until the further stages are completed and we have collected enough money to complete the stages. Because it's such a huge statue, it's very expensive to save this project all at once. So I agreed with the artist to um, do my best and collect enough money to complete stage one, prevent the statue of decaying any further. Because the first stage is very achievable and I think there is enough artists and enough Bosnian people living abroad who don't, who don't don't want to donate money to someone over there because they know there is a lot of corruption. That's why I took this project upon me because maybe I can gain more trust because I'm also living abroad and I don't really need something to say so. What happens if we make it to the first stage and collect the amount that you see on the crowdfund page? If, if we reach our goal, the crowdfund goal, then the money will be paid by crowdfund to the artist's bank account. And that's when we can make the first stage happen. If we don't make it to the goal and um, the time of the, of the crowdfund page expires, everyone who donated money will get refunded. So you don't, uh, don't have to worry about losing your money if the project flops to say so. So there are a couple of rewards for the people who donate money. I've discussed this with the artist and I will show them right now in the video. I have mini statues of the real life statue that we want to um, to save and he will make these personally by hand. Everyone will be numbered and there is a maximum of horses that can be sold. So it stays an exclusive piece and can actually be used uh, around the house as an, as an art piece or um, you can display it anywhere you want. For smaller donators we have a poster that will get printed and you can put this in a nice frame and hang it on your wall. If you donate more money you get a bigger poster. Um, it's really high quality and, it's a, and the poster is an exclusive image made by the artist himself. Worldwide we're losing a lot of cultural heritage and I think that's a really bad thing. So this way I want to actually save a bit of cultural heritage of Bosnia. 
but also get this great piece of art outside of his storage and uh, put on a public place so everyone can enjoy and admire this great piece of art. It would be a real shame if something from this size, one of the biggest statues in the Balkans, decays and the man who dedicated his life to this work um, never gets to see it finished. If all stages get completed, the statue will be placed in the area of Velika Kladusha in the western uh, part of Bosnia, northwestern part of Bosnia, and uh, will be publicly displayed for everyone to see and visit. This is the first stage. If I can make this first stage, I will consider doing the other two stages as well, depending on the reactions that I get, and of course the support from the local government and the federal government in Bosnia and Herzegovina. If you don't have enough money to donate anything, what you can do is you can share this page on Facebook with your friends or people who would be interested in helping out on this project. Thank you for watching this entire video about saving Muya Hrnca. If you want to know more details about Muya Hrnca and what it, the statue is about, you can read it down below in the description. I hope we can make this work. Let's do this.